So we'll look into the PV and TV diagram of water, starting with PV diagram of water. Consider that we have water at one atmosphere and yeah, the entire thing is performed in an um, isobaric process. So we are heating water in an isobaric process. That is keeping the pressure at, say, upon atmosphere. So what happens is, uh, let us have ice at minus 20 degrees Celsius, which let it have a specific volume of some, somewhere around here. We are going to heat it. We know that ice won't melt like till zero degrees Celsius in one atmosphere. So this is zero degrees Celsius. So we know that water has the least, the highest density or the least specific volume at four degrees Celsius. Okay. So and we are quite certain that it, it is experimentally we can show that ice floats on water. So its density is lower than that of water. Okay, the density of ice at zero degrees Celsius is lower than that of water at zero degrees Celsius. Okay, so what happens is as its density of ice at four degrees uh, at zero degrees Celsius is density of ice is at uh, zero degrees Celsius is lower than density of water at zero degrees Celsius, i.e. The density of a row of water and zero degrees Celsius is higher than row of ice at zero degrees Celsius. Okay, so this can be translated to the specific volume of water at zero degrees Celsius is lower than the specific volume of ice at zero degrees Celsius. Okay, so if we uh, increase or if we, if we put more heat into it, we'll have, as this is a saturated uh, like solid point, this represents a saturated solid point, its density is going to increase or the specific volume is going to decrease and reach a particular point here. Okay. Okay, this seems right. So here, and again, if we in, put more heat into it, its temperature is going to go up, but its density is going, is, uh, temperature, if we put more heat, or when we are heating it, its density is also going to go up till 4 degrees Celsius. That is, its specific heat is going to go, specific volume is going to go down. Okay, so it may reach like this. Suppose this is 4 degrees Celsius, it will reach, some other point. Okay. After this, uh, it is like the usual stuff. Putting more heat into it, its density is going to go down and its temperature is going to increase. So it will be something like this exaggerating. Okay. After this, I'll have the saturated. Here, I'll have water at 100 degrees Celsius, yeah, I'll have steam at 100 degrees Celsius, I'll have, this is for one atmosphere. Say if I increase the pressure to about two atmospheres, I'll get a very similar graph, something like, okay, so I suppose this is point A, this is point B, point C, point D, point, so this is E, F, and so on. So the point A represents a point when, uh, like, we have solid, this is essentially solid. Point B would be the saturated solid. Okay, in both cases we have saturated solid. Point C is 
saturated subcooled liquid okay between point b and c even if we have added uh, heat to it its temperature is not going to increase so we are supplying we are doing a latent heating of it point d is the point of least specific volume d is least specific volume or highest density highest okay this is not usually uh, this point though it is significant it is not represented in a p a pv diagram or tv diagram and point e is the saturated liquid line liquid point liquid and point f would be the saturated vapor or vapor point okay in between e and f we have um, the the region where liquid and vapor which coexist at equilibrium and the one thing to keep in mind is that between point e and f we have two phases that that are coexisting at equilibrium so the degree of freedom as we have a pure substance bf is 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 okay so again these lines that i've drawn are of isovars so we can see that between point e and f in both cases we have a horizontal line so as temperature is increasing as a, sorry between e and f the temperature is remaining constant so is the pressure okay this will be the exact same thing when we look into the pv diagram okay we can see an increase in specific volume but the temperature and pressure will remain constant okay so these are the points of significance we'll uh, yeah, if we, if we draw do these experiments uh, like uh, for various pressures we will get similar curves and we'll draw the we'll join the locus or we'll um, draw these points of interest join these points of interest and we'll get some, some curve which is which will be something like obviously we'll have a vapor dome and we have we'll have the triple point line here will be a dot line which represents the saturated subcooled liquid and we'll have a line like this which will be this uh, it's not a straight line it will be the saturated solid be below this we'll have the sublimation curve okay. between these things between these two lines we have solid plus vapor here yeah, we have liquid plus vapor okay so if i just draw an isobar I've just seen. We'll start at the solid region. Go to this curve, which is the saturated solid curve. Its density is going to go up. This specific volume is going to go down. It reaches the saturated subcooled liquid line. It's density is going to increase to like 4 degrees Celsius or if I'm looking at uh, an atmosphere uh, one atmosphere it's going to go up then it's uh, like uh, if we add more heat to it its temperature is going to go up till it reaches somewhere here 
that is a saturated liquid line. After that, we have the boiling or uh, the at saturated liquid line, it starts to boil. We have a liquid, It'll, uh, the temperature will not increase even if we add more heat into it. It reaches some a point it reach, um, till it reaches a point on the saturated vapor line where we have the vapor. After that, we'll have the superheated region. Okay, this is for a TV diagram of water. In case of a general material, we have discussed uh, like previously. 